Hi, today, Oxito quality replacement or upgrade LED bulbs. We're going to be fitting them today on a BMW 1 series. These bulbs are your H7s. Nice quality box. Let's go back a little bit and explain how easy it is to determine which car bulb you have. There are a few in the market, but here's the two general ones. H4 and H7s. The H4 bulb, three pins on the back. The H7 bulb, two pins on the back. Another simple way is if you stand at the front of your car and you've got one bulb that does your headlight and your main beam, you've got a H4. If you have two bulbs, one that does the high beam, one that's low beam, you've got a H7. There are H1s and 3s, etc. with different fitments on the back. But the good thing about Oxito is that on their website, you put in your make, your model, what you're after, or what bulb, where it is, and they tell you which bulb you need. Nice and simple. Now the bulbs have come a long, long way since these halogen bulbs. Some people may remember, after halogen came these Xeon bulbs, Exxon Xeon, had no pattern to them, they were cumbersome to fit, you had to drill holes, fit in this blister pack somewhere in the back of it with cable ties, they light up the whole entire planet, no beam anywhere, blind everybody on coming, and most of the time the reason why I've got a huge box of these is because they'd go off. You were driving along, you'd lose one light, lose the other light, you had to turn them on, turn them back on again, you might get another few miles down the road, change impact, oh they were terrible, utterly terrible, MOT failure, no one really liked them, but it was a start. We were all happy when these started to come out, new LEDs, but these ones, big bulky fans on the back, they've definitely upgraded since these days, but these would have start some sort of pattern to them. I don't often go about packaging, but you know what, tell it a bit of quality. Also instructions, but I've had them before come in a sandwich bag and a little bit of polystyrene like the other one did. You know, lucky to get there and lucky it worked when you got it. Cheap, nasty. You pay for a little bit more quality, but they work. And have a look at this. As you open the box, instructions. And that's just the start. Look at the quality of these. You can clearly see how good they look. Take them out of the box. Stick to the old wall, not touching the top. If you ever had a halogen bulb when you touch the top, they used to blow. Something about the grease on your fingers, but look at that for a direct replacement or upgrade. Bought some 501s before bulbs and they were like three times the size, you couldn't get them in. That to me is what I really mean by an upgrade or a direct replacement. We are simply just lifting the bonnet. There are no tools required to fit these bulbs. None at all. Hands, a little bit agile sometimes maybe, but on this BMW, nice and easy. On the back of the headlight, there's just a simple cover. Two clips, one goes to the left, one goes to the right, which I've already unclipped. And out comes this cover. The old days, it's a drill through, oh, it was messy. And that's how easy to get the cover off. Next, all we need to do is put our hand inside and there's a clip that holds the bulb in. A little trick, camera phone, flash, put it in there, take a picture, take it out. You'll see where the clip is and generally there's a little hook and it just pushes round and comes down. It's easy as that. Try not to fumble around too much, take a picture, you know what you're looking for. And this is what I did. There's the clip, push it in comes down but first take off the back of the bulb the connector just wiggle that off and then clip it down and out comes your halogen H7 nice and easy pop in your replacement what we're going to show you today is the old halogen and the brand new LED light the nice pattern a different color you don't only buy these to look good, they're for safety as well. You really do see so much further up the road and so much clearer. Animals may be crossing and some of the craters we've got here in the UK. You know them ones that you swear and then apologise to the car. You know what I'm talking about, them ones. These can really help you to miss them, slow down in time, 
and not hit somebody. They do generally only go in one way. Remember, when you take the bulb out, the clips to the top on this one, you put them exactly the same way in, and you just find the little clip that I had there. It's as simple as that. That's what the picture helps you with. Now you can see it in here. You can upgrade both bulbs if you wish. Low beam and the high beam. But today, we're only upgrading this one here. Can you see how nicely it fits? Look at that. Can you see the difference in light? And perfect pattern. Look at that. I mean, come on. You can see against the wall. How old and yellow. And how absolutely gorgeous. Right, 6,500 Kelvin. From any angle, <laughs> look at that. What a lovely pattern as well. And truth be known, that's a much better pattern than the original. And there is a very easy to see comparison. You can get LED little bulbs as well for the side lights and I'll set upgrade for the high beam and low beam. And that's how simple it is to upgrade or replace a bulb from Oxito bulbs. Great replacement LEDs. There's a link in the description that brings you straight to this website. It's a really good website as well. I ordered these Monday and I got them next day. That's also something you don't get from some other bulbs quality bulbs yes you paid with more for them but why buy cheap ones that will go these are quality long lasting with good guarantees and good reviews what more do you want they're also on facebook and instagram just type in their name and they've got some special deals on now i'm gonna fit the other side while you go and do that take care of us on the road bye bye orcito